Major changes are being proposed for the way truck drivers are told in a bid to prevent heavy vehicles from clogging suburban roads. A parliamentary inquiry today hearing that for some freight operators, the cost of tolls outweigh the benefits. Sydney's ever-growing network of tunnels and motorways are driving ever-growing costs for freight companies. They do not wish for truck drivers to use the tollways because there is no benefit to the company. The Transport Workers Union tabled this directive sent back in May telling drivers at Tolls Woolworths Yard to ensure you are not using toll roads. In most cases, the cost outweighs any benefit. Proof, more trucks are being forced onto suburban streets. Instead, the industry's peak body says truckies should be offered discounted registration for using toll roads and a lower off-peak toll to increase productivity and improve safety. If we can get them off the roads during 95, then that's a, a solution that's a win-win. The inquiry also heard calls for Sydney's vast array of toll roads to be treated like a network where drivers pay per kilometre and there's a cap for those like truckies who travel long distances on motorways. At the moment, each road has a different fee and each quarter they go up. From Friday, tolls on the M5, Cross City Tunnel, Eastern Distributor, Lane Cove Tunnel and M2 will all rise by as much as 11 cents for cars and up to 24 cents for trucks. Since it opened a year ago, the toll for the new North Connects Tunnel has gone up a dollar for trucks, now costing $25 each way. The inquiry will make recommendations for reform. We have to drive some better answers right across Sydney. Uh, the position today was tolls are simply becoming too much right across the city. Liz Daniels, Nine News.